His finest hour came against Australia inevitably. Trent Bridge, 2015. Home ground, of course. Well, an adopted home ground. It was Grace Road, Leicestershire, first of all. At that stage, people didn't know whether he'd be a better bowler or batter. He had all-round potentials. Batting came easy in those early days. He even got a Test 100. What a way to go to your Test 100. What a place to get your first Test 100. The home of cricket. Well played, Stuart Broad. Big, big moment. What happened? Getting hit is what happened. Broad has taken one here. The, the ball has got him in the mouth, I think. It's gone under the grill. Nice, oh, nasty. Let's hope he's OK, Stuart Broad. He put his hand up straight away. Batting wasn't so easy after that. Bowled him! Bowled him! Bowled. Straight through Broad. Gone. Bowled him. Became a night hawk instead. We renamed, you know, what Night Watchman's all about, and we were going to go with <laughs> Nighthawk. That was Brody, 30 off 10 or not off one. <laughs> Up and over, extra cover. Broad's going to have some fun out there. Pulled hard. I reckon that's gone all the way. Anyway, back to Trent Bridge, August the 6th, 2015. What a morning. Full house, ashes on the line, pitch a bit green. He felt good right away, getting Chris Rogers in that first over. After that, it was a procession. All gone! What a start for Broad and England! ground quite a remarkable morning all out before lunch beautiful 15 doesn't get any better than that what a catch by the way ben it's gone yes hat trick stuart Broad. Still, he'll always be associated with Jimmy. It's been a partnership above all, driving each other on to greater heights. The greatest bowling partnership England have ever produced. Jimmy Anderson, the artist and craftsman. Stuart Broad, the competitor.